Like, I had to go chrome mirror, like, every day. Like, hey. You know? hey, yo, I guarantee y'all, them motherfucking jeans smell like backwoods and ass. I'm sure he had them motherfucking jeans on for at least two weeks in a row. <laughs> Welcome back to Tough Love, Truth Hurts. I'm your host, Drew, and today we're going to be talking about the brainwashing of the black man. Hey, so where we at today? We're on the block, nigga. This the Jinx. This where I grew up at. My auntie, my auntie don't stay right up there. And my granny, she stay in this farm right here. But I love this shit, though. Nigga, where you live at? <laughs> Harder than dope. I got all my Jiro on in the hood. Like, dirt. I'm just daring, nigga. Come take this shit. I got slime with me. He about to fall victim to what I love to call, you play stupid games, you win stupid prizes. You feel what I'm trying to say? Now, why would you be daring somebody to come take that from you? Knowing that a nigga will. Like somebody won't slide through there and ruin your day. See the bravado on these dudes? This be the same stuff that gets y'all killed out here, man. It's sad to see. It's so stupid, yo. You on the third body of the month, killing spree. I got slime with me. You on the third body of the month, killing spree. Not playing with these folk. I got Zo right here. He gonna scam. Bro. Did you just self snitch on your man? Did you just say I got slime with me? He got three bodies this month. Y'all tell me this shit is a skit. I can't tell. I'm gonna keep it real. Whether it's a skit or not, this shit accurate. Because I see this all day long scrolling up and down my timeline. You just told on your man. You just said we don't condone no snitching and then proceeded to say my man got three bodies. What the fuck? I'm the fuck out of nigga. Oh God, yeah. <laughs> fuck you, tell me. That. Dude, and then he nice ass. Why the fuck you got a shiesty mask on, bro? Your nice ass, nigga. Ain't never killed shit, bro. Shit, <laughs> I ain't yeah. fuck. You peep how he just glorified this one man who he talking about caught three bodies, but the one homie who ain't catch no bodies, he downplayed him. Straight to his face too, just straight disrespected my man. Look at the shit that we glorify, yo. Shit, lame as fuck. No, nigga, you lame as fuck. Oh, and we don't condone no snitching. Yo, ain't gonna die. The fuck you, talking about? What's up, little brother? Stay in school? Yeah. Yo, I be telling, I be trying to, I be trying to teach these young niggas stay in school. Don't be no murder like me, man. <laughs> boy, ain't no way, boy. Boy, ain't no fucking way, boy. Block with this shit, nigga. I hit a nigga the other day. I hit a step back on his ass. Bah! <laughs> Step back. This nigga just used a basketball move reference to my he hit a nigga with a step back when he clapped him. See what I'm saying, bro? Straight brainwashed and brain dead. And then, and then I stood over the nigga. Uh, Make sure that nigga go, nigga. I ain't no barely made it with her. Yeah. Oh God. I'm gonna take y'all to the corner store though. Y'all come with me right quick. Let go. And then my auntie right here, she pretty much raised me like when I was this little. Now I'm the hood. Auntie talking about he was bad as shit when he was little. I tried to raise him the right way. Yeah, I'm sure she real proud now. Hood hero. Now he grown up. <laughs> yeah. Hey, so what's your favorite part about living in the hood? Being able to put this shit on every day. Like I had to go chrome mirror like every day. Like, hey. You hey yo, I guarantee y'all. Them motherfucking jeans smell like backwoods and ass. I'm sure he had them motherfucking jeans on for at least two weeks in a row. Just go on these niggas' Instagrams. Anytime they got something important to do, it'd be the same motherfucking Mary jeans. Just pay attention. Nigga ain't got two quarters to rub together, but he spent $1,200 on some motherfucking Mary jeans. Y'all got to help me make it make sense. I'm in the hood every day. I've been doing this shit for a long time, T. You can tell them folk, like, let them folk know what's going on. This is a PSA to black men. Bruh, we got to do better. Y'all got to expect more out of yourselves. You feel me? And at this point, it's just sad to see that this nigga and a lot of other brothers around this country is brainwashed. They've been brainwashed to glorify these horrible conditions that they in. Now, as black people, I know we used to taking lemons and making lemonade. But this just take that phrase to a whole new fucking level. I think that this is his way of self-coping. You feel me? Because he probably feel like he can't change his circumstances. But I'm here to tell you, bro, if you took that same passion, love, and dedication that you got to the block and put it into something that was actually progressive or something that was actually constructive, you'd be in a much better situation. 
you probably be able to help a couple of your friends and your family out. But nah, you cool with your circumstances, right? I'm from the inner city just like many of y'all. You feel me? I'm from Philly, and I'm very proud to be from Philly. But not for the same reasons. I'm proud of the fact that I came from humble beginnings because it pushed me through adversity. It taught me fortitude. It taught me perseverance. I'm starting to really think that this street culture and this nigga culture got y'all brainwashed. Half of y'all's brain dead, man. I hope that this video might find this brother one day and it open up his eyes or somebody close to him, show it to him. Because the path that Cuz is on and the mentality that he got, it's only going to lead him to two places. That's dead or in jail. But y'all don't feel me, though. And that's all the tough love I got for today. I'll see y'all next time. Peace.